Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out with you. Boy oh boy are we going to have big fun today and in the coming days playing some Diablo. Let's get started. I just made a new character here. Kyrie091, nothing fancy, just a warrior. Haven't done anything yet. Save file exists, we'll go to new game just to prove I haven't done anything yet. So here we are in the world of Diablo. Getting started with our short sword, buckler, and for some reason we have a club. Let's talk to Kane and see what he's got to say. Friend. Stay a while. What you got to say? Farnham. He is a disquieting reminder of the doomed assembly that entered into the cathedral with Lazarus on that dark day. Oh my goodness. He escaped with his life, but his courage and much of his sanity were left in some dark pit. Okay, so we get the idea. There's a dude named Farnham who helped raid the cathedral and it didn't go well. Uh, I gotta turn down the sound here because I don't really want... Sean Connery's voice there being that that loud. Hey, here's that Farnham guy we just heard about. Let's talk to him. What's up, Farnham? Stand a fellow drinking peace? Yes, you may. We'll leave you alone. Let's see. Who else can we talk to? Let's see what this guy's got to say. Well, what can I do for you? Ooh, basic items. Well, I have 100 gold. Any basic items I want? No, no, I don't want any of this. Leave me alone. Leave in that shop. Let's talk to this guy. Thank goodness you returned. You're welcome. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. Like what? All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. What? Many were cut down where they stood. Gross. And those who took up arms were slain or all dragged away to become slaves. Or worse. Glad I left. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. Let's check the it out. screams that echo in the night are inhuman. But some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Think so? Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. All right. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. You didn't really tell me much this time, but whatever. So, that's some of the townspeople. There's a few more. For example, this guy's kind of important. Pep in the healer. What ails you, my friend? Nothing, buddy. Uh, he sells you healing stuff, which is cool. Um, you got hot Jillian back here. Good day. How may I serve you? Oh, don't ask me that, Jillian, because I'll tell you some stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's the basics of the town. Um, there's a couple other people that we're going to talk to. We're not going to talk to them today, but we'll meet them eventually. So let's take this path that uh, Ogden, the tavern owner, was telling us to take. By the way, the song in town in this game is awesome. This part's cool. Oh, who's this now? Wounded townsman. Please, listen to me. Got my attention. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. How'd it go? The bastard led us into a trap. Oh, shit. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Um. Avenge us. Find this Butcher and slay him. So that our souls may finally rest. Okay, so like a group of guys went down here to kill this butcher, and the butcher killed all you guys. And now you want me to single-handedly kill this butcher by myself. Your death will be avenged. Maybe. Maybe we'll be avenged. Let's go in, guys! Look at the dungeon. How cool. Alright! Alright! The sanctity of this place has been fouled. So that's my last girlfriend. <laughs> oh crap, skeleton. Slash. Clickety click. This game involves a lot of clicking. Every attack is a... Ooh, money. Every attack is a click. So a lot of clicking. If you like clicking a mouse, this game is for you. Oh, I'm just leveling stuff. Ooh, a chest. Let's open it. Nothing. Look, there's a shrine in here. Thaumaturgic Shrine? What is this? Thaumcraft? Am I playing modded Minecraft all of a sudden? Interesting uh, strategy here. If you stand in the doorway, you can take these guys on one at a time because the only one can fit in the doorway. If I walk into that room... Hey! If I walk into that room, they'll all start attacking me in unison and I'll probably die. So... Oh, one more. Skeleton Captain. Ah! Ah! Kyrie, oh, he got him. He got him. Kyrie got him. Let's see what the Thaumaturgic Shrine does. What was once opened? It, oh crap! What did I just close? Did it close it? Did it close the chest? Maybe this chest, the one I just opened, is closed again. Let's open it. Still nothing. Okay. I really wish I would have used that on something more valuable. Oh well. Ah! 
Ooh, a book! Already got a book! What's this dagger? Not very useful, but I'll grab it for now because I got room for it. I want that book, though. Can I read that book? Uh, require 25 magic. What's my magic level? 10. I can't read that book for a while. What is that thing? Charge bolt? That's a good one. I'm keeping that. I won't be able to read it for a while, but uh, I'm just going to hang on to it. Ooh, money. Okay, I got to go this way. I'm going to die. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Right here. Mono a mono. Just you and me and my gods! Bonus points if anyone knows what that's a reference to. Actually, you know what? No bonus points. If you don't know what that's a reference to, get off my channel. I don't want you to watch these videos. That better be about to gain a level. Okay, I'm about to gain a level. I'll show you how I know that in just a second here. As soon as I gain a level. These guys are wusses. These fallen one guys, they run away. There's my level. When uh, one of them dies, the rest of them start, like run away for a moment. They eventually come back, but let's see what's in this... Oh, skeleton. You go around this dungeon just exploring, opening stuff up, killing things, getting stronger, gaining levels like you do, killing lots of skeletons. So, well, sarcophagus, let's open it. I called them sarcophaguses when I was a kid. Look at that sarcophagus I got open. Why am I dying? There. Sarcophagus. I got a potion of mana. I don't have any... Ooh. So. Just found a short sword. Let's take a look. As you can see, this short sword is purple. It is not identified. Um, which means that it's a special short sword. Let's use our... Let's do our level up first, then we'll talk about the short sword. So, every time you gain a level, you have five points to distribute to whatever you want. I'm going to put some into magic because I want to learn that spell. So there we go. That's some magic points now. Eventually, oops, eventually I'll have enough to learn that spell. I'm going to take a few levels, but I'll get there. Um, I am going to go up to town. I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you guys. Oh, small chest. I will meet you guys up in town. Maybe. Anyways, here's how identifying items work. You talk to Kane, Hello, my friend. and for the low, low price Stay of 100... Shut listen. up, Kane, I'm talking. For the low, low price of 100 gold, he will identify it for you. So this purple short sword is actually a sword of dexterity. Adds four to dexterity. So it's just like any other short sword, except that it's going to increase my dexterity by four. I'm using it. Increase dexterity, let's see what that's going to do for us. Increases our two-hit percentage a little bit. So it's worth doing, in my opinion. Get rid of these menus here, and we'll talk to this guy. Wow. Griswold, what can I do for you? shut the hell up. That's what you can do for me. He can repair your items. If you go to repair items, uh, for a nominal fee, he will fix them up. The Sword of Dexterity has 13 durability remaining out of a maximum 24. Let's have him repair it. I'll sell the, the other junk I got. I don't really need any of this other stuff. It's not really worth too much, but I don't have any use for it. Griswold, um, in addition to his basic items here... You can buy better swords and all this. And in addition, he sells premium items. Um, in fact, I'm about to buy one. I'm going to buy a premium item from Griswold. I'm going to buy a fine cap. Yes. Um, premium items are just the purple items. They're just basic items with some kind of special modifiers on them. Like this fine cap here. Clunk. So, got us a fine cap. Oh, let's talk to Pepin while we're here. Pepin, uh, the healer. He will heal you for free. Hey! Oh. What ails you, my friend? A little bit about uh, the game. The game is that um, you actually get your quests at random. I have the Please butcher quest. Listen to me. And I can re-listen to the, like the little intro thing anytime I want. And hear about the butcher again. Um, but I don't want to listen to it right now. Uh, you don't always get the Butcher Quest. That's It's a pretty common one, but you don't always get it, though. Uh, there's some other ones that I can already tell you. There's one I don't have that I kind of wish I did. Uh, the the well, water in the well is blue, so I know it's not poison. If the water was yellow, I know I would have the poisoned water supply one. And that quest's pretty cool. It's pretty easy, and it gives you a pretty good reward. I won't get to do it this time because I didn't get it because it's totally random. But, I don't know. What are you going to do? Keep rolling. Let's go in here. What's in this room? 
Got my new fancy sword and I got a fine cap. I'm ready to rock. I'm killing this zombie. You're a dead zombie. You're a dead skeleton. You're a dead pile of gold. Everything's dead. Ooh, a bow. Short bow. Can I use it? I can. Do I wanna? Nah, yeah, not really. Not yet. Bows are handy for some certain circumstances, but... Like this. Like, this is when bows are cool. This is why it's cool to have a bow, because you can do this. Hey. Hey! There. You can shoot guys through these grates in the wall. So I can just stand here and pick these guys off, and there ain't a damn thing they can do about it. Anyone else in there want to die? Zombie! You're dead. Hey, fallen one guy, come back. I see you. Got him. Alright, so that's enough fun with the bow. Let's go in and collect our spoils. Pile of money. Pile of money. Pile of money. Skeleton captain. The more of the the more enemies you kill of a specific type, the more information you get about them. You'll notice when I um mouse over a skeleton captain, it actually tells me a little bit about about skeleton captains. Because I've killed a lot of them. I'm familiar with them at this point. I've killed enough of them. Uh the final mechanic I want to go over in this episode that's a huge part of this game is this map that we're looking at. Look at this. It's a map of the floor that we're on. Obviously, the player's represented by the little orange arrow. Doors are the light highlight, like the light squares. Another short bow. Don't need that one. And uh, stairs. You can see the stairs on there that lead back up to town. Um, the map is the best way to know when you've explored an entire floor. And I will be exploring every single floor um, in this effort because, you know, it's just what I want to do. So, here are the stairs that lead down to level 2. I don't want to go to level 2 yet. I haven't finished exploring level 1. Rah! Die, fallen one! Sarcophagus. Large chest. Oh, there's a door down here I haven't opened. Let's open it. Good news. Ooh, skeleton captain. So, anyways, I, I didn't get a chance to show you, but uh, I can see the skeleton captain's immunities when I mouse over him now because I've killed 15 of them. Once I have killed 30 skeleton captains, I will be able to see their uh, HP. Um, yeah, that's what I'll be able to do. Ah! <laughs> Too many. Hey, another level, level three. Okay. Money, door, skeletons, skeleton captains. You can see they're immune to magic. You can see at the bottom there when I target them. That's okay, I don't have any magic to hit them with. Scroll of identify. That's handy. Um, it lets you cast the identify spell, which lets you identify items without going and talking to Kane the Elder. So if I find something cool, I can identify it right here without going to bug Kane. Let's allocate our points, and then we're going to be done for the day. Uh, let's see. What do we want to allocate points into? Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to do magic because I really want to be able to cast that spell. Call me crazy, I want to cast that spell. Um, anyways, guys, that's... Hey! Jerk. That's going to do it for this episode of this game. Be sure to join us next time when we keep playing this game. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs>